With regards to image quality and abdominal x-rays, you want to see everything, first of all, from the diaphragm to the hernial orifices. In the horizontal plane, you'd like to see um, the left and right abdominal walls. It's also important to note that the bowel gas pattern is, is very variable in abdominal x-rays. Bowel obstruction is one of the main indications for an abdominal x-ray. Often patients will require a CT scan to identify the transition point, uh, determine the cause and plan surgery. However, an abdominal x-ray is often more readily available in the first instance. There are a few key differences between small bowel obstruction and large bowel obstruction on an x-ray. In small bowel obstruction, the loops of bowel are usually greater than 3 cm in diameter. Furthermore, there are folds in the mucosa of the small bowel that are visible across the entire width of the bowel. These are called valvuli conventes. In large bowel obstruction, the distended loops are usually greater than 6 cm in diameter, and they have haustra, which are small pockets along the length of the large bowel that give it a segmented appearance. Furthermore, distended loops of bowel tend to be primarily present around the outside of the film in large bowel obstruction, whereas they tend to be more central in small bowel obstruction. Volvulus is a term used to describe twisting of a loop of bowel on its mesentery. The torsion can cause an obstruction, meaning that a loop of bowel proximal to the obstruction fills with food, fluid and gas. Furthermore, the torsion can obstruct the venous drainage of the affected bowel, resulting in venous stasis, and if left uncorrected, venous infarction and bowel perforation. The loose hanging parts of the bowel, namely the sigmoid colon and the cecum, are the most commonly involved in volvulus. Sigmoid volvulus is described as looking like a coffee bean, whereas cecal volvulus is described as looking like an embryo. If a patient has presented after swallowing a dangerous foreign body or having inserted one into their rectum, an abdominal x-ray may be requested. In this case, you can see a nail within the abdomen. It's important to note that you must consider the composition of the foreign body. For example, most metals and glass will show up on an x-ray, however, wood and plastic would not. Toxic megacolon is a serious complication that is usually associated with inflammatory bowel disease. It can also occur with other forms of colitis, such as infectious colitis. Severe inflammation of the colon means that the bowel loses its tone, making it very dilated and friable, and patients are often systemically very unwell. On an x-ray, the colon will become very dilated, often over 6 cm, and will lack the haustral contours that are usually seen in large bowel obstruction. So in this side-by-side, -side, you can see how toxic megacolon differs from the appearance of large bowel obstruction. Constipation is not considered a major indication for performing an abdominal x-ray. However, you may sometimes find that patients who are presented with acute abdominal pain are just very, very constipated. Uh, the feces will have a speckled pattern that usually uh, tracks from the rectum up along the large bowel. Note how the impacted feces differ from a normal bowel gas pattern.